Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a marker that is displays in the world space but into the screen space as you can see in this demonstration. So if I go, uh, if the objective or the waypoint is behind some object, the marker and the distance will be showed on top of that. So as you go closer, the distance will be updated and further. So, right, let's see how to implement this waypoint marker or objective marker today. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay so this is uh, the same project i used for to demonstrate the compass bar system and those yellow markers they are actually the objective locations now i'm going to add a, uh, some objective marker in the world itself instead of playing it uh, showing it the compass bar so let's uh, open this object uh, BP marker actually this is just uh, if you are if you haven't followed the uh, videos I did on the compass bar that's fine you don't really you can just create any blueprint from scratch and this part is only relevant for the compass bar so I'll collapse this Was set up right now so I need another way to show a marker in the world space so for that I'm going to first I need to show the marker and below that I know to show the distance so for that I'll first create oh, under UI in the UI folder, I'll create a small widget WDG marker. Okay, and now here I'll add a image. Yeah, yeah. Wait, where's the texture? Okay, here. Uh, but that's too large. We don't need this much. Anyway, that should be fine. Uh, you can use a different marker. So for now, I'm going to use this. Set anchors to the middle and the uh, alignment 2.5 x and y 0 I set the y alignment to 1 right uh, what's the size of the image 1084 by 100 okay actually we don't need that size we only need this marker only but oh, why not let's just create that right here is the marker I'll call it object marker right Let's import it and let's use that objective marker. I'll set the size to 100 by 100. 
all right and below that i need some text to show the distance like 100 meters this also needs to be centered i'll set the anchor to middle and alignment 2.5 and zero i'll keep, leave the y alignment as zero and then set everything to zero position wise size um okay let's add a color so yeah. Right now, uh, I'll add a widget to the to this marker blueprint. let's call it mark widget and as the widget class I'll give WDG marker space uh, let's leave as world space let's compile and see how it looks Oh, it's not visible oh, yeah it is visible yeah let's set it to use the screen space right now you can see that it is visible in the screen but we are not updating the uh, distance to that object we can fix it draw size maybe half of this size would be better right and uh, just like we did for the marker uh, for the compass bar marker we can change the marker color uh, for that we can either set up an interface uh, and change the color and the number of meters uh, displayed here through that interface okay we can just cast the marker widget used here into this widget marker type and then we can use it so I think let's use the cast here because we are not going to do use the cast always no let's use the interface mm -hmm. PPI marker V jet. Here let's define a function to set marker color. And as the input, we need linear color. What's the variable type? Yeah, linear color. color in the type 
linear color right and also we need another one to update distance as an input we need um, mm, now let's just call it update text so we can put anything we need and this should be in the type of text right now in the widget marker let's uh, go to class settings and let's implement that interface vpi marker widget compile now update text let's implement this oh in order to implement we need to use uh, convert this text block to a variable i'll name it uh, marker text right now the variable is available here get marker text and set text using this interface right and the next thing is uh, set in the color I'll change this instead of image 0 marker image that's better and set marker color implement event marker image in color and opacity right now in here let's get the marker widget get use widget object oh, what's this I think this is the one we should use update sorry set color oh wait no oh what's the function name set marker color right and use the marker color and in the tick we can access the same and call update text so here we need to calculate uh, the distance from player character to this so ob uh, this uh, objective location so I'll get actual location this returns the actual location and get at uh, sorry get player character get actual location then we can calculate the distance from this object to the player and I think this returns in centimeters yeah let's divide this by 100 now this returns the value in meters and uh, let's do a append append on a string and then we can convert this float value into a string and then after that we can add m then we can use this value 
as the text parameter this will automatically convert a string to a text right let's see now yeah now as you can see we can see the distance but I don't think we need to see any decimal points uh, we can truncate yeah and use that see now we only see the value of the the we see without decimal part okay shall we move this up a little bit because it overlaps with the object itself and also I think we can further reduce the size Now you can see, we can see the objective clearly and even through other objects. See, alright, so with this, I'd like to stop this episode. And as always, project files will be available for the download through patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club so thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye